The world faces enormous global problems. We require energy independence, clean water, food security, and at the heart of all these problems lie engineering solutions. At McMaster Engineering, we encourage our students not to think of these problems in a technical sense, but to think about how they can improve the lot of society. At McMaster University, we're striving to develop students who have the skills that are required to be successful engineers in the 21st century. These skills include things like creativity, critical thinking, an ability to problem solve, an ability to be an independent learner, to communicate effectively and to work well within a team environment. 21st century engineering problems are challenging, more challenging than what we've seen in the past. Today, our students need to be able to learn how to deal with unstructured problems, ones where we don't know what the answer is, we don't know how to go about doing it, but it's important that we deliver on problems and solutions in new and creative ways. The first year course, Engineering Profession and Practice at McMaster University, is designed to help students learn how they make contribution as engineers in a creative way that creates the greatest benefit for society. My students work on a single project for the duration of the course. That project involves a real-world problem that belongs to a real-world client. The impact of having something like this that is completely open-ended is tremendous on the students. When I explained to the students that I was having difficulty pumping gas as a result of rheumatoid arthritis, they spent some time working with me to come up with uh, some strategies and ultimately a solution for my problem. The impact was immediate and significant. I was able to pump gas with no pain and it was actually very easy for me to manage the device that they built for me. I contributed to the design of our prototype. Throughout this project, I learned that the more teamwork we do, the more successful we are. Having a real world context to the problem actually helps you solve the problem a lot better. It is such that you have an emotional connection with the client and therefore you're more motivated to actually complete the product. We have truly inspiring and outstanding students at McMaster University. Our students have developed award-winning projects that actually do have an impact on society. Being selected for EcoCar 3 is a great opportunity for McMaster Engineering and as well for us. The work on the team supplements the theory that I learn in the class. Uh, we'll design something using uh, theory that we've learned in class and then learn that in the field the loading cases are different or the engineering is just a lot different. We get to learn where the theory fails and where uh, experience can teach us some things that the theory can't. McMaster University is a leader in experiential learning and problem-based learning. We believe in a hands-on, minds-on education for our students, where the students are fully engaged with the material and with their professors, so that they then become more responsible for their own learning. At McMaster, we use experiential education in a variety of ways. In chemical engineering, for example, we use the on-campus boiler house, where we take groups of students to work on projects in real-world situations where they can develop the skills that they've learned in the classroom, communication skills, professional skills, team building skills that they'll take with them as they go into the workplace. The hands-on learning approach that we use in this program uh, will prepare the students for the 21st century and the, their careers in several different ways. They're walking out of here well equipped from a, a knowledge point of view. They've had co-op experience in our program, so they've experienced the working world and how to work both as and contribute as an individual and as a member of a team in an effective way. They will also have confidence. So they'll start their careers feeling like they're well equipped and they'll have the confidence to learn more about other things that they need to as they move through their careers. We absolutely have to prepare our engineers to work in a global context. Today's most pressing and concerning problems, so for example climate change, don't know any geo or political boundaries. And so in order to develop effective solutions to these problems, we are going to have to work in large global teams. The Water Without Borders program is a collaborative graduate program between McMaster University and the United Nations University Institute for Water, Environment and Health. So at the beginning of the program, the students are given 
one or several problems that the United Nations University is currently dealing with and over the course of the program they are required to come up with solutions to these problems. It's a very global program. We've had students in Kenya, in Uganda, in Egypt, all across the world working on various issues. The Learning Portfolio is a new initiative at McMaster University. It allows students an opportunity to develop their own learning objectives, to integrate learning that occurs both inside and outside the classroom, and most importantly, it allows the students time to reflect on their learning. McMaster Engineering is entering an exciting new phase. We're building a building specifically for experiential learning. It will allow students to work hands-on on projects, but it will also allow them to reflect upon their education, to produce grand capstone projects, and indeed, to solve the grand challenges that our society faces. 